have been hearing a lot of bad press about fossil fuels causing climate change. Now I would like you to think for a second about fossil fuels. Fossil fuels have actually done a lot of great service to our humanity. They are the fuels that run our societies. They are in most of the products that we use every day. So in short, fossil fuels have helped us make our lives more comfortable. Now it is a fact that we cannot continue to use fossil fuels the way we do today indefinitely. We need to find sustainable and renewable alternatives to the products and services that we currently derive from fossil fuels. So what are these alternatives? <coughs> they are in the form of plant biomass. Biomass industries, including the forestry and agriculture industries, have long been providing us with a lot of products and services. And <coughs> what if we can extend these products and services to include those that we currently derive from fossil fuels? In other words, in addition to oil refineries, can we also have biomass refineries? The answer is yes. And the good news is we can even do it by using biomass waste. By using the protein derived from fungi, we can break down the biomass waste down into sugars and turn these sugars into fuel, renewable plastics, and other products that we currently derive from fossil fuels. It is these sugars, completely derived from waste, that can help uh, reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. Now, breaking down biomass is not easy. <coughs> it, in nature, it takes hundreds of years. Why? Because plants do not make biomass to be broken down. Uh, plants make biomass to help the trees stand up. To speed, so obviously we cannot wait hundreds of years. So to speed up the process, we need to use a large amount of these expensive fungal proteins to, to make the process happen. <coughs> That's the reason why uh, right now we don't have a commercial biomass refinery because of these expensive fungal proteins. So to improve the economics of uh, biomass refinery, my research is focused on reducing the cost of protein by recycling the enzyme, the pro these proteins. <clears throat> now recycling these proteins is very challenging. It takes about 50 to 80 different proteins to break down the biomass. So these proteins are like different workers with different functions. And my research has shown that because of their different functions, they interact differently with the plant biomass. And it is very important for us to understand this interaction in order for us to optimize the recycle strategy. So by understanding this, uh, this interaction between proteins and plant biomass, I've developed a recycle strategy that has improved protein recovery by 50% and reduced the cost of protein by half. Now recycling the proteins will improve one aspect of the biomass refinery, but we need to improve the overall process. The oil industry has had more than 100 years to improve its efficiency. We need to do the same with biomass refinery. And this will require our collective effort. I would like to end by asking you this question. What would you do to make this switch to a more sustainable future? Thank you.